Hello everyone. Welcome to the second project on my course of Python projects. So again, I will follow the same rule. Uh, I will write, uh, press the right shift and then right click off my mouse, open window PowerShell. Okay. And here I will write code dot dot. Uh, you can directly open it from uh, Core Studio also. That's not a problem, but I find it a uh, better way to do the uh, open the Visual Studio code. Okay, here I am going to create a second project. That is, uh, in this project, we will be creating a password generator. Okay, so I will uh, write, give the name of this uh, project, uh, Python file is password generator. Password dot py is fine. Okay, so for generating a password, like uh, nowadays, uh, uh, there are lots of website you log in and it's uh, really uh, hard to uh, keep the track of password or generate a uh, unique password for all the unique websites okay or the unique login uh, credentials you have uh, but uh, what you can do that you can create one python program uh, using which you can uh, generate a password okay so nowadays uh, what first a trend like the password should contain uh, one uppercase at least one uppercase one lowercase and one number and one special character for these are the some of the requirement of the uh, password uh, we have nowadays so for that uh, what we will do that we will create one pass uh, one password generator python program and that will be a very short program that's the beauty of python actually so to create a path password is python we need to create a program uh, that takes the length of the password and generates the random password of same length like whatever the length you will be giving if you give the, uh, the length of the password is six then uh, it will give you a password of length six uh, so for for that uh, what we have to do that we have to import one uh, module that is random okay so let me import the module import random so random module what it will do that uh, you will see uh, let me write the program first so after importing the random module uh, what I will do that I will just uh, take the input from the user that uh, in, uh, give the password length so for that I will give password length and password length I will keep as uh, I am taking it as an input so I am going to take the input as uh, I'll give the string like uh, enter the password length so and enter the password length okay so user will be providing the password length and uh, that we will take as a integer okay so for that uh, let's convert it to integer uh, for converting any input into integer you just have to write into a for it in the python okay so i'm taking the input as integer now now what we will do that uh, we will create one uh, string okay we will store some uh, value in the string so that what that string will contain that string will actually contain uh, all the characters which we require in our password so for for that uh, i am going to store that value in the string s and inside the s we will be having uh, every character uh, of the from a b c d to a Z in uppercase, lowercase, and zero to nine, and all the special character. So let me write th that all. So I have written all the alphabetical uh, in uppercase, alphabets in uppercase. Now I will write uh, mm, numbers. So numbers I will write from zero to one, zero to nine, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, and then I will write all the alphabets in lowercase. So I'm just uh, typing from my keyboard, like what, whatever the structure of the keyboard. And after that, we will uh, take some um, special characters. So I am taking a special characters also. And uh, this, okay, I have taken the special characters also. So this I have stored in a string and now what we will do that we will now actually generate our password. So password we will 
keep in a string p i'm going to keep it in a string p and uh, inside that what we'll do that mm, we will use the random uh, ra random module here okay so uh, we will just join we are going to use a join function and join uh, inside the join function we will pass the uh, random function so what random will do that uh, we will take some random samples so random that dot sample uh, so random dot sample and uh, inside that what will give that uh, we are going to take the input from uh, it will be s uh, it will take the sample of the s and uh, the length of it will be uh, we, ha we have to give the length also for the argument for the length will be password length which we are taking from a user okay now we have to print this password so let's uh, print the password you can give the some uh, string also like your password is this or that uh, i'm just printing it now uh, our password generator is ready it's just you can see it's just a five line of code okay uh, let me run it i'm going to run this python file it is asking me the length you can see here it is asking the length so length i will provide as let me take eight i want a password of length eight. yeah here you can see that it is giving uh, a, a password okay uh, now i will again run this file again it is asking i am going to give six so here you can see that every time it will give you a different password. Uh, now let's take seven. So it is using a random function and using the random function, uh, it is just taking the sample from this uh, string and it is giving you the password. Okay. So using uh, this method, you can generate a password generator and you can uh, obviously create a exe file from this uh, code also. Uh, you can use some GUI like uh, Kinder, you can uh, using the uh, Kinder, you can uh, create the GUI of this uh, uh, program. So that's it for this video, guys. Uh, we will meet in our next project. Thank you so much.